so till yesterday my balance was 300 something dollar now the balance is 27 dollar so i made some losses big big losses mostly in gp jpy and us <coughs> jpy <coughs> okay we'll go there <coughs> we didn't make any loss in aud so what had happened aud i was waiting for this reversal so it is some showing some reversal sign let's make one entry point So if you break this line then i will enter and after breaking if it takes the support that's very good now going to next pair chf so as you remember i told you that it is taking a Diversion RSI was strength was breaking, relative strength was breaking, breaking. So now it has moved up and it was also showing the uptrend. So both are going in good direction. So I lot I bought was here 10 lot and one lot just because I didn't have the currency money yesterday. I can add one more lot here in GBCHF, but we will come back to see it. JPY. So I expected market to go down, but here it made double bottom. I didn't want to believe this double bottom, so I was totally focused on this big bullish candle. So this double bottom has come here. Now this is the free range. From here it may take the chance to go down. Okay, I made mistake, but somewhat here. This is the area of liquidity. Same thing in both the case. <coughs> but I will persist in taking JPY. I need to study a little more. And JD. So I was saying that I got a loss of one seventy seven dollar big loss yesterday. Morally, mostly in JPY. The balance of $27. <coughs> I have to control my loss a little. So I took this sale here because of uh, you can say triple top. NJD USD and GV NJD is showing some resistance at this level and same it is showing resistance at this level here you can see there is one resistance area the chances it can turn back so I will exit NJD USD so what was my stop loss one second my stop loss was $27 should I exit? No. I'll move it to break even point. Going to next page of USD. In USD, I suffered loss again. AUD, USD, JB, USD. In both, I took NI. Took a small loss. It was good. A small loss is about twenty-four dollar, nineteen dollar is good. 
is twenty four dollar again and euro USD 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 is going down USD <clears throat> so this small small loss was good but this loss this loss was unexpected unexpected these are not make a lesson why not good so coming to this point should we go for sale here in euro usd it has broke the channel but in downtrend it can be a fake breakout but here in top also is breaking both side is breaking so if it was a fake breakout it would have been only one pair not in both pair that is my doubt only doubt breakout there have been only one pair not in both pair okay I'm willing to take risks here so stop loss will be my $17 my take profit will be around this much one to one dollar it can be a big mistake but I want to know because both challenge breaking at some point here if a fake breakout this will be only one channel not in both I was going in GBCHF I was saying something here yeah I wanted to add one some more quantity here because you can see a big support has we can see at 44 uh, in moving average, whatever we can use 40, 50, 44 doesn't matter. And here also it is showing a big movement. I have already added 10 lot here. Okay, let me move it to a little break even. One break even. Here I will add some quantity. It not allow me to add 10 lot, but 5 lot. Yeah, 5 lot allowed me. Let's put some loss here and uh, move the profit. We will see how it turns out. <coughs> so I made loss of one cent seven dollar. My actual balance is twenty seven dollar. My running profit is seventy six dollar. I added two trade right now. GPUSTS sale and GPCHF as buy.